Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I would like to start a new project, single leg jumping robot. If you remember the Pixar lamp, this is the idea what I would like to build. And actually I'm not sure, not sure at all that it's going to work. <laughs> and the programming would be a real nightmare and I'm not sure that I would be able to program it. So I would need your help, my viewers, to program this robot. So let me explain you the idea. Just a small point, I would like to make this robot not dynamically stable, like a very old uh, Boston Dynamic uh, single-legged robot, which was constantly jumping to keep it balanced. I would like to make this robot statically stable, meaning that it can stand after it can jump, stand, jump, stand. This is a CAD model which I made. So here there is only one link. I plan to have three links. So it's going to be three motors which works in parallel. So it's going to be parallel kinematics. So here it's upside down. So this is the foot of the robot. So it should be like this. For the moment I don't plan to install any electronics on the robot or battery. Just to keep everything simple for this prototype. So here this is the motor. It's stationary with respect to this base. The motor drives this pulley which is rigidly connected to this link. So there is one link here, second link here, bearing here, here. So there is axis of rotation like this, here is the axis of rotation like this. And over here, there is two axis of rotation, uh, actually three. <laughs> one like this, the second one is over here, so it's like this, and the third one is over here. So there is three axis which are perpendicular one to another. So this link is going to connect this white piece and this white piece actually is only one piece. The second exactly the same should be on top of it. And this white piece through the bearings is going to be connected to the, this gray piece and this gray piece through the bearings is going to be connected to this foot. By the way, this is a single part. You see it's made like this so it can be easily 3D printed when you lay it on the table with this surface. And this link consists of two parts, which are going to be screwed through these holes over here. And so they can be also easily 3D printed laying on this surface. And this one should be laid on this surface. This was the fourth iteration of the design. But still here I decided to change this part. And so the new motor assembly looks like this one. Because... This one has a smaller gear, but this is good for the metal gear. So I'm going to use a 3D printed one. And thus I will increase the diameter of this 3D printed one. For the motor I'm going to use this motor. This is a motor from the T-Motor company and the name is MN6007KV160. And the controller is a Motius controller. This is a quite expensive motor, but uh, I had them, so I'm using them. And for the brain of this robot I'm going to use NVIDIA Jetson Orin developer kit, this one. So this is the most powerful Jetson which you can buy. And that's why I think it should be enough to control this robot. And afterwards in the second or third iteration we will see if we can use something less powerful than this one. And especially less uh, heavy than this one. And now let's talk about how you can win such Jetson Orin developer kit. For this you need first register to GTC 23 conference using my link in the description to this video. And you need to attend this conference, so watch some of the sessions. And also it would be nice if you subscribe to my channel. And in my opinion this conference is interesting even without this raffle. And it's free. It's about AI, machine learning and its applications. It's suitable for both total beginners in AI and for the professionals. There is so many sessions that everyone will find an interesting session. And the interesting thing is that this time they will have Jetson HAI Developer Day. And over here there are a lot of useful sessions. I think I will watch most of them. And also don't forget to attend my session, Building a Robot Digital Twin in Isaac Sim. And here there are some sessions which I'm going to attend. Like of course my session, of course Keynote session. Of course I'm going to attend many sessions from Jetson HAI Developer Days. I think this one also should be interesting, deep reinforcement learning with real world data. At least this should be interesting for me. So don't miss this opportunity to increase your knowledge for free. 
and I think this robot is a perfect example of robot which can be simulated in the Isaac sim to find out how to control this robot. So simulate it in the Isaac sim. Afterwards, probably use the Isaac gym for the reinforcement learning to see how it can learn to jump. And afterwards, we can try to apply this knowledge to the real robot. This is a quite complicated project. This is a close view on the beautiful Jetson Orin developer kit. Also, I should say that by participating in this raffle, you will support my channel. As we started to talk about controlling this motor, so this is a Motius controller. The Motius controller is going to be controlled either by this uh, USB to CAN bus adapter. This is a one way. Another way to control this robot would be to use this Pi head, which has the GPIO connector, which is compatible with this connector. So it goes like this. I never tried it like this, but theoretically it should work. And uh, with this way, it would be a little bit faster to control such kind of robot. And this is the original pulley which I plan to use. But finally, I decided to use this one with a bigger diameter. Why? Because I figured it out that uh, as this pulley is 3D printed, the teeth are not perfect. And this pulley, it slips quite easily. And this one with a bigger diameter is way better. It still slips, but I think not as easy as a small one. The best solution would be to use machined aluminum pulley, but I don't have one. So these parts from the old design, we don't need them anymore. Over here, this is a base. It consists of two parts because this is the first prototype. That's why it's two parts. It could be one. It just pressed fit inside and the motors are going to be fixed at each side of this triangle. And here I already assembled a big portion. So this is a legs. This is a one joint. Over here, there is three joints. One like this, one like this, one like this. This is not perfect design at all, but I think for the first prototype, it's good enough. Why I don't like this design? Because these bearings are quite small. And if it's going to jump like this, it would be a really high radial load on this bearing and on this one. And so most probably it's going to die. <laughs> But anyway, this motion is quite small. It's really just a little bit. So probably it's going to be okay for this first prototype. The belt is going to be fixed over here. So this pulley does not have the teeth, but just we fix two sides of the belt. And over here, I will use such small pieces, which I will put over here. And this is in order to tension the belt. I have the small one, I have a big one, I have many sizes, intermediate sizes in between. So I can choose a right size in order to tension the belt, to well tension the belt. And it's quite important to tension this belt because otherwise the belt is going to skip on the pulleys of the motors. And so let's continue the assembly. For this, I need to fix this piece over here. Just like this and two nuts on the other side. And by the way, here I also put the standoffs and the 50 millimeter long screws and also press fitted this bearing. Now repeat this two times. So now we have this part. Now that we take one leg and it goes over here. And from the other side, this link is going to be supported by this bearing over here like this. And we can fix also with the two screws this part to the base. This one is fixed. Now let's do the second one. The third part. So two parts are fixed. Fix the third one with the screws. Now let's install the motors and afterwards the belts. This is the motor. The motor is from my previous project, which had a really few views. That's why I decided to disassemble this project. You don't like it. So if you would not like this project, I would not continue with it. So if you want 
to see the progress on this project. Like it, watch it and share it. So the motor goes like this. And the pulley will be aligned with the big pulley. The 50 mm long screws. The same goes here and here. The motors are installed and I think what I need to do, I need to do a cover over here in order to protect the controller and also something here in order to protect the motor because most probably at some points it's going to fall. So we need to protect expensive parts. But other than that, everything looks fine. I have a small rubber fit which we can put over here with the screws and embedded nuts from the other side. They're not perfect because they're a little bit slippery, but it's okay for the prototype. I think I can make as thin as 3D printed parts or maybe less filled 3D printed parts because right now they're quite heavy in total and probably I should decrease the number of screws. There's also possibility to reduce the weight. Next, the belts. I need 35.8 centimeter long belt. Now let's try to install this belt. Afterwards, it goes to the motor. The belts are installed and I tensioned them with these small blue parts. I basically printed many blue parts like this ones with different dimensions. And actually I ended up to using the smallest ones. And the belt is quite tensioned. So the hardware is ready. So it goes up, down, and it can go to the sides. And so the idea is that it should be able to jump. Something like... So this is jumping on the spot. But when it needs to the jump somewhere, what it should do, it should like tilt a little bit, still keeping the center of mass between the feet. And after it like... After I do Yeah, I'm not sure that this will work. Probably it would not be able to jump in this configuration because it's quite heavy. But what we can do, so right now there is three motors which are working together, but if we put like four legs like this, it's going to be four motors working together. So like this, we can increase the power quite significantly. But what I'm interested in is to understand, will it work or not? So I would like to ask you, what do you think? Is it going to work? Can it work at least from theoretical point of view? Because there is a tricky part here. To jump on the spot, it should not be a problem. It should be able to jump. But when you need to jump somewhere, like for example, we want to jump over there. First of all, what we need to do, we need to put the center of mass like this in order to accelerate in this direction. So accelerate a little bit like this at the angle. But if we accelerate at the angle like this, it's going to be jump, it's going to jump, but it's going to be in this position. And in order to uh, land, it should go into this position because you want to land like this. You don't want to land like this because if you jump in like this and landing like this, you're going to fall. So you want to jump like this and land like this. So uh, my question, would it be possible <laughs> with this configuration? Yeah, and my idea was that when you jump over here, you need to apply this force at angle and the force uh, vector should not pass through the center of mass. It should go a little bit offset. So the center of mass here and it should go a little bit offset in order to make a moment, the rotational moment like this. And if we have this moment, in this case, it will jump, it will start to rotate and you can uh, control the speed of rotation by changing from here to here, because like this, you will change the inertia moment, moment of inertia. And so like this, you can control. So for example, you jump in like this, the moment of inertia high, so it's going to rotate slowly. You bring the leg here, it's going to accelerate the rotation. 
Afterwards, you extend your legs over here. It's going to slow down the rotation and you land. Basically, what I would like to say, usually how you jump. I think how you jump. I'm not sure that <laughs> humans jump like this. So what they do, they like uh, jump in this direction. Afterwards, they have the rotational moment. So they bring the legs here in order to, to, in, to decrease the moment of inertia and uh, increase the rotational speed and afterwards extend the legs when you have the right angle and you can land. So this is the idea. I think it was clear. And my question, would it work? What do you think? Please leave this in the comment. It's really interesting for me because I'm not sure if I should continue with this or not. Also, don't forget to attend GTC 23 conference, NVIDIA conference. I have a talk there, so you are welcome to watch this talk. Probably it's going to be interesting because it's about how to simulate the robotics or more precisely how to put your physical robot inside the simulation. If you would like to support my channel, you can do this by participating in the Jetson Orin Developer Kit raffle. But anyway, even without this raffle, this conference is very interesting, so please register to this conference using my link in the description. Thank you for watching this video till the end. I'm waiting for your ideas about this system, this robot, will it work or not. Thank you to people who support me via YouTube channel membership and Patreon. Here are their names. And by the way, as usual, the cut files for this project is going to be available for some of my patrons. So if you would like to build this and try it, you are welcome to do this. As usual, stay safe, good luck with your projects, and see you next time.